Well, a little Hitler in Queensland, the Premier Anastasia Palaszczuk is at it again. We only just heard a couple of hours ago, as of midday today, the borders are going to be shut for two weeks. Hotel quarantine is full, so people cannot come into the state, regardless if you're a Queenslander or wanting to come from one of the other states. There'll be no flights into any, any city in Queensland, whether it be Brisbane, Cairns, Townsville, that are coming from New South Wales, ACT or Victoria. So no one was allowed in here for the next two weeks. This is the reason why I didn't go to Parliament, because she could have called this at any time, which she has. Now, it would have been all right for me. I could have gone to home quarantine, been a member of Parliament, but my staff, they wouldn't have been able to actually get back into Queensland. The impact it's having on people is devastating. I've got the phones ringing off, talk, people are actually crying, they're upset, what is going on? We can't deal with this anymore, businesses are going under, you've got children with problems, you can't get in psychiatrists for at least seven months, so don't bother trying to book one. The problem is that this can't keep going on. This is why I've kept calling out the Prime Minister to take leadership where we are headed as a nation. I have never denied people the right to go and have a vaccination, but I stand up for their rights to actually not have the vaccination, depending on how they feel about their own health situation. But she hasn't given and guaranteed what she's going to do when we do get to that 70% to reduce restrictions, or at 80% do the borders never get shut again. And that's why I call on the Prime Minister, start the proceedings now to challenge the states as in Western Australia, Victoria and especially Queensland in the High Court about their, their ability to shut down the borders which goes against the Constitution, the Federal Constitution. We are one nation. We are not a body of many nations and that's why they are treating the people of Australia. Next Monday the truckies have advocated they will be having a blockade at the borders and I'm going to go there. I'm going to support them, as I have said. You know, people are saying, oh, what is she doing that for? It's just exacerbating the whole situation. No, it's not. You see, I support them in standing up for your freedoms, your rights, their jobs, their futures. As I said, politicians, we haven't lost anything. We haven't lost one cent. We haven't lost our entitlements. And actually, we're treated totally different because I could have come back from Canberra and got across the border to home quarantine. See, that's the difference. I acknowledge that. But people are going to the wall. It's about your rights, your freedoms. So I hope you stand united with the truckies. It might be a bit of an inconvenience, but at the end of the day, it's, it's about people power telling the politicians you've had enough.